guys, welcome back. Today I have another try on new makeup video for you. The items I'm trying on are not new to the industry, but they are new to me. And I finally got my hands on the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collab. The blushes from that collection. So cute. Just the packaging is just adorable. Um, if you saw my Sailor Moon video from earlier this year or just a couple months ago, um, that's the video where I did an eyeshadow look using the Sailor Moon palette and uh, the two glitter pots. But I wasn't at the time able to get the two blushes. They just sell out like this uh, every single time. And this last restock seemed like it was a big one because um, I wasn't even on there right when the restock launched. I was maybe 30, 40 minutes uh, after the hour and managed to get these two. So there is hope if you've been waiting for the collection to come back yet again, um, there is hope. And I think they might finally be sort of stepping up here and, and at least restocking at larger quantities. As I have these two blushes in my cart, um, I also wanted to try another ColourPop palette, and this one caught my eye, and that's what I have on my eyes today. This is the Mint To Be eyeshadow palette. Uh, as the name implies, you have a lot of greens in there. What's interesting is that it's green based, but you have green grays, and you have green with some blue in it. This one here, uh, I discovered while I was doing the look, but this is actually a dual chrome. Love it, very pretty. That's what I have on the center of my lids. Um, so yeah, overall, I really enjoy this palette. Spoiler alert, um, I'll talk a bit more about it at the end, um, but I do think having done one look with it, there is enough variety in here both in um, the finishes of the eyeshadows and the variety of shades within the palette uh, that can give you some versatility and you have the ability to create different looks. So if you're interested in how to create this kind of frosty, minty look, stick around for the demo. Uh, the third item that I tried on today for the first time is the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid um, Hydra Powder. And I've heard many, many good things about it, but just kind of never took the dive to, to get the product. And this is obviously a sample size. Uh, I got this from Beautylish uh, when I ordered the Hachiko Kabuki brush. Uh, you guys would have saw that video as well. And it is just the cutest little sample size. And actually what I learned from Julia, one of my viewers here, uh, she let me know this is actually something they sell separately, uh, at least in the UK. I might have it here too, like at Sephora or, or something, but she let me know this is 16 euros um, if you were to purchase it in the UK. So um, thank you Beautylish, great sample. Uh, so I have that on to set my makeup today and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. See you guys in a bit. I'm gonna start with Get Fresh and we're adding that onto the crease. Then we're gonna go into Seltzer and we're adding that below Get Fresh. Taking Freshman, we're gonna pack that onto the lid. So before we move on, I do wanna say, if you're into soft, pastel, cool tone looks, this might be it for you because you could just put on some mascara, you could do a really thick winged eyeliner for some drama, and then you're good. Um, this would actually be a look that I would wear out if that was what I was planning on. So, um, so far I like what I'm getting from this palette. Uh, you guys know I do film the eyeshadow portion first before I do my intro and outro. I'm sure you'll hear me, or I'm sure you would have heard me talk about that in the beginning. Um, but moving on here, um, to test out the palette, I do want to use more shades uh, to give it dimension and some texturing. So I'm actually going to go into mixing Chill Factor and Deminth uh, and put that into the outer corners. 
And the reason why I'm mixing these two is I do like this, you know, light pastel look. And I just want to give the outer corners a little bit of definition without making it too smoky or too deep. So that's why I'm mixing um, a deeper shade with a lighter one. And then I'm going to add ice cold, very light handed um, onto the crease, just to kind of extend uh, the deeper shades we just added onto the outer corners further up here. And I don't want too much green because it's gonna look just green, green, green all over the place. That's not what I want. Um, St. Patty's is already passed this year. So uh, we just wanna be light handed for some added effect. I'm gonna put on foundation mascara and then we'll come back for the lower lash line. I'm ready to set my makeup now and we're gonna use the By Terry Hydro Powder. Thinking how much product I can get on a big brush like this, like a full size brush. So just let me peel the sticker off. Looks like we already have some product coming off of it. Ooh, the light makes it hard to see. So you can kind of see some product here. I'm just gonna swirl the brush as best as I can um, and see if we get enough product. So the product looks to be coming out of the packaging or out of the top of the jar pretty nicely. So I don't think I actually have any concerns with there not being enough being deposited. Just gonna do a quick check. Yeah, I would say we've got some good coverage and just for the heck of it, we're going to use this little puff. This is so cute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we've used it. Yay. <laughs> so I think we've got a good amount of coverage with the powder. And uh, let's move on to under the eyes. So what I haven't decided is, am I going to smoke it out a little bit? Are we going to tight line here? Kind of like a soft pastel look, which is what I'm leaning towards. I am wearing this look into the evening, so if I were to tight line, I think that would be suitable as well. Why don't we try, yeah, why don't we try this? Let's smoke it out just very lightly without any tight line to keep it uh, still very minty fresh um, and we're going to use get fresh here and we're just going to apply that under the lash line and i just wanted to bring get fresh out a little bit more because you can get that lift since it's a nice and light color and I do want to focus dimensions a little bit more uh, on the lower lash line. So we're going to go back in with a deeper color. I'm going to use Deminth or the Menth, the Menth, and just add some right here. And then we're going to take this small definition brush here. This is um, from Sonia G's Sky Eye Set, the flat definer, and we're dipping that into mint tea bring it right onto the center um, and then oh what i didn't realize at first is play it cool is a dual chrome right here it looks just silvery green but you can really see that green shift once you swatch it on your finger and as you move it around Ooh, so pretty. Hmm. We're gonna pop that onto the center of the lid. But honestly, if the look was just like this, it would be just fine. But I have it on my finger anyway. Pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. Whoa. Okay, all right. You can. 
is fine. All right, now we're really frosty. And then um, on the brown bone, we're going to add Mojito Man. And using the other side of the flat definer, we're going to go into Mojito Man again. And we're adding that to the inner corners to brighten it up. Let's go with Lancome's Miss You Big. Okay, so for blush, I've got two options here. Um, both are from the Sailor Moon ColourPop collaboration. We have Cat's Eye and From the Moon. I believe Cat's Eye is the one that has the shimmer. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. That's the shimmer. And you've got this um, cute little design of Luna. The other one from the moon is a matte blush. So I think we're going to go with a matte blush. It's really bright. Maybe we'll go with, yeah, let's actually go with Cat's Eye, the one that is a shimmery blush. Let's do that. Um, and for highlighter today, um, I actually want to go back to Mint to Be and pick a shade from there as a highlighter. So we're going to use Mojito Man and we're going to use that as our highlighter today. Um, it's going to be light handed because I actually don't want my cheeks to look green. Maybe just as like a of a passing you know when light kind of just shines on it a little bit of green is okay but I don't want it in any kind of concentrated way yeah like just just a hint just a hint and I'm actually even dabbing it into play it cool just a little bit yeah so we've got some cohesiveness from the look and I just want to show that you could use uh, one or two of the metallic or even this duochrome here very light-handedly uh, as like a highlight to pull your look together. And for lips we're going to stick with uh, subdued shades because we are using pretty bright colorful I mean it's it's green so if I go too bright on a lip too rosy or pink you just kind of risk looking, or I risk, uh, looking clownish. So um, we're gonna use what I used for my Dior video. Uh, Shanta Kai's Tinted Lip Balm. This is in Beach Rose, uh, combined with Wayne Goss's Tulip, that's lip gloss in the shade Tulip. This will give me uh, hydration and a tinge of color. And this looks fine as is, but it could be a little bit more nude. So that's why I'm adding the lip gloss. I like how this looks. Okay, I think I got some mascara on my upper lid earlier. Let's clean that off. And when you wait for mascara to dry before you clean it off, it's kind of hard and smears and smudges, but if you wait for it to dry and then clean it, um, it's much easier. So now I can go back in and just touch up a little bit here and boom, as if nothing happened. And this is the finished look. This is certainly not a typical color story or eyeshadow look that I do, but I like it. Any kind of fairy themed or a forest themed, this would be like a go-to. And I really think the quality of the eyeshadows here is probably on par with the Sailor Moon palette. I haven't tried a lot of ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I'm fairly certain, actually I do recall hearing from other YouTubers that 
generally the quality is good, uh, it's good value, but not every palette has the same quality. And when I compare Mint to Be with the other nine pan eyeshadow palette that I have of theirs, which is all things Equinox, I would say the quality of Mint to Be is better. Um, all the shadows in here that I've tried, and the only one, no, I've actually tried all of them, all nine of them on my eyes. Uh, so yeah, uh, all nine of them, I think they were fairly good. Didn't have a lot of fallout, uh, which is always just much, much, much appreciated. Anytime you get into greens and blues and you have this fallout here, it's just time consuming to, to clean up. Um, and under this lighting here, if it's dirty, it's really obvious too. So not a lot of fallout after I got rid of the excess. While there is kick up, like typical ColourPop eyeshadows, um, not really an issue. And I really like the Play It Cool Dual Chrome. So pretty. And uh, any of the ones here, actually, any of the metallics, I thought all four of these are very, very pretty. And I think you could probably just do an eye look with just all four if you wanted to. And I like that they added Seltzer here is a matte, but with a shimmer. So um, really well thought out and put together. And Chill Factor being the deepest shade on the palette is easy to combine with any of the other matte shades or even any any metallic shades here to deepen it and give you more versatility and this really pastel-y frosty silvery look that i have is just one take from the palette you could do just matte looks minimal metallics or none at all you could um, use Chill Factor, right? The deepest matte color, deepen any of the shades in here and do something that's very smoky and evening appropriate um, or dark fairy uh, inspired. You could do, you know, swamp inspired, just, uh, just so, so many options. And I am always interested in trying color stories that are generally not mainstream or your everyday kind of go-to colors uh, because I feel like, I mean, it's pretty to look at for one. I think people can agree palettes are generally, you know, the ones that are structured like this, a family of shades put together. Um, my eyes are always drawn to them and it's kind of a challenge to pick up a palette like this one that's not mainstream, it's not an everyday go-to and try to create uh, a daytime wearable look with it. So I feel like if I if I do that and I could show people how it's done, then maybe it opens some more opportunities for people who've been considering but just not sure if this is something they want to invest in. And But always, um, ColourPop is fairly affordable, so if you've ever had your eye on green eyeshadows or cool tone palettes that are green themed, this might be your thing. Uh, I'm definitely happy to explore more looks using this palette. Uh, we'll find, hopefully, we'll be able to find some time for it. But if you're interested, I always appreciate your input. Let me know if you want to see more looks from this. The Sailor Moon blushes, uh, again, happy to finally have these in the collection. Uh, I thought it was easy to apply and I didn't feel like I risked being too heavy handed and that's always a plus. I think next time we're gonna use this bright matte pink here. Um, the one that I use again is Cat's Eye and I feel like it's very, very soft and pretty. You know, it looks a little bit intimidating because of how bright the shade is, but it's actually fairly soft. Um, and we'll quickly compare it to the matte blush. So this is the matte, this is uh, Cat's Eye, the one with the shimmer here, or satin finish. Um, this is from the moon. So so yeah, we'll try, we'll try the brighter one next time. But I like how Cat's Eye look. If you're thinking about getting one of the two blushes, if that's interest to you, I do recommend Cat's Eye for a softer look. And for the last item, the By Terry Powder. I'd have to wear it throughout the day and a few more times to see how well it holds in all the makeup while being hydrating. And then, uh, of course, just mattifying, oil absorbing overall um, because I do have combination skin 
and uh, quickly you know oil comes through in the chin the nose and around this area here so if the makeup doesn't really break down as um, at the same rate as what I usually expect I would say that's definitely a win with the powder uh, but it's one of those items I'll have to film a separate video on to give you guys an update and speaking of those did it work updates I have a number of things that I can see on my vanity that I owe you guys um, some follow-up on so expect that video coming soon there are a few more items I want to try uh, a bit more before I give kind of my final final thoughts in that follow-up video well thanks for watching it was fun trying these colors uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well see you guys in the next one take care bye